All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use ChatGPT accurately to do the proper product research for your Shopify dropshipping business. Like some people think that it's super easy to go on ChatGPT, ask ChatGPT about some winning product, and ChatGPT is going to give you some ideas and you can just start selling that product and that will be a winner. No, it's not that easy. Like everyone nowadays is using this trick, so it's not that effective. So it's super important for you to learn how you can actually use ChatGPT into a proper way. Because after all, it's an AI algorithm and you are the human. You need to control that AI and it's up to you what strategy you build, what technique you use to get the best product ideas out of ChatGPT by keep asking more and more questions until you find your winning product. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the whole method step by step, which I personally use and test in past couple of weeks. And that actually gave me some good products for Shopify dropshipping. Because whenever I ask any dropshipper, like what is the main challenge they face during their dropshipping journey? So 65% of them say that they are not able to find the winning product. So today I'm here to make this task super easy for you and super time saving for you. But for that, you need to watch this video completely till the end, step by step with full focus. As you can see here, this is my today's sales for Shopify. And if I put the filter for past month, you can see that in past month, I got almost $5,400 revenue. And the cool thing about this is that I only focus 40% on paid marketing and 60% on organic traffic. And if you go on my YouTube channel, you can find out these free playlists on Shopify, on Pinterest, and on TikTok. And if you watch all of those videos for free on these playlists, you'll be able to know like how I actually generate free traffic from these social media platform on my Shopify store, from TikTok, from Pinterest. And if you watch all of these videos in my Shopify playlist, so you'll be able to know like how I optimize my Shopify store to get more sales, more conversion with less spend. All right, guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now. And here I have opened two websites. Number one is ChatGPT and number two is Amazon.com. And if you are thinking that why I'm using Amazon.com to do the Shopify product research, so the answer is that Amazon is the biggest search engine in the world for e-commerce marketplace. So if we start our product research from this website, that means those products will be selling definitely. But we are not only going to rely on this product on Amazon.com, but we will surely verify those products into some other website which are doing dropshipping as well. So that's why I ask you to keep watching this video till the end step by step so you can understand the whole process. So while doing your product research for your Shopify dropshipping, the number one step you need to do is find a category or niche. Because if you start looking in all category, then your research will be diversified and at the end, you will get nothing. So first of all, decide a category or niche in which you want to look for the product and then start working on your method because that will make your idea clear. And in that way, you will be able to give clear instruction to ChatGPT. So it will be super easy for you to find a winning product in that particular category and ChatGPT can actually do the proper product research for you. So first of all, on the amazon.com, click on this all button. Here, you will be able to see all of those categories on which sellers are selling their products on amazon.com. So from here, you can just find out any category you want or any category you love. So you can see that there are many categories like baby, beauty, women's, cell phones, digital music, electronics, handmade, home and kitchen. And if you scroll down, we can see many categories. So let's suppose for this video, we can just take an example of home and kitchen. So if we select this category home and kitchen, so we will be able to see this bestseller tab on top. So we can just click on that. So by clicking on that, you will be able to see all of those products who are actually best seller in that particular category, which is home and kitchen. So from now, we can start scrolling down and see which product are selling best for this category. So it's not necessary that you will start looking for a product in kitchen category and you will stick to that category. For example, if after scrolling down, you can find any other category you love or you think that it can be a good category. So you can just switch that category at this first step. But in this first step, you need to finalize your category and your niche. So let's scroll down so you can see some other categories here as well, like automotive and best sellers in appliances and sports and outdoors, ebooks and so on. So I think we can just switch to uh, appliances because here I can see many of the good products having a good selling price. So if your product selling price will be high, then you can get more and more profit. So let's finalize the category appliances and click on see more. So by doing that, you will be able to see all of those products which are best seller in this category. So from here, keep scrolling down until you find a good product that catches your eye. So let's just scroll down and see if we can find a good product or not. So from here, I can see this, this one is a good product and we can just try that after our research. And if we go further down, so we can just shortlist this one as well. All right, so at this stage, we have two products in our hand, which we know that they are great and they are actually best selling on Amazon.com. So we don't have to actually set the same product on Shopify because Amazon products are different and Shopify products are different. But from Amazon, we only want to get the idea like which kind of product people love and which kind of product are actually selling. So here we can see that this product is called freezer cabinet lock. 
so people can use it to latch so here we can find a very good keyword which is freezer lock latch now we have to move on to our second product which we just shortlist and the name of this product is adjustable refrigerator stand so as you can see here this is basically a stand and this stand is adjustable and you can use it to place your fridge on it so right now we are having two products which are related to fridge so we can just go on to the chat gpt and paste the name of these two products like we can just copy the name of this product from here and paste it and in the next line we can just copy the name of this product and then paste here so after pasting both product name i have just taken two product here you can just take two three or maybe five products and then after typing the name of those products you can just ask ChatGPT like hey chat gpt can you please find me some best selling product ideas related to the above products so after typing your question here, so let ChatGPT make your answer. All right, so as you can see here, ChatGPT has just find out five product ideas and it is key finding me some more ideas. So let's start from number one, which is refrigerator door lock with combination pad lock. Number two, child safety cabinet lock. Number three, adjustable fridge stand with wheels. Number four, refrigerator water filter. Number five, door handle cover, magnetic refrigerator whiteboard and so on. So as you can see here, we have just find out a category and a niche. And then we have just asked ChatGPT to find some winning product in that particular sub niche. So as you can see here, the main common thing in all of these products is they are related to fridge. So as you already know that everyone has a fridge in their home. So if there is a winning or eye catchy product for them to use with their fridge, so they will definitely buy them. So now in this video, I'm just giving you the example of a fridge. You can just use the example of any product any category and any niche and then just keep asking chat gpt about some more product ideas in that particular niche until you will find the best one and you will think that it is a winner and later in this video i'll show you how you can check that if this product is literally a winner or not so now just move on to the next product and see if we can find any winning product from there or not so here it is refrigerator shelf liner so if i just copy this keyword and go on google and paste it here and go on images so here you can see that this can be a good product because it's a super useful product and anyone can use it because all other people are having fridge in their home and they all want to manage and decorate their fridge and they want to keep their stuff organized in a cooler way so i think this can be the product which we can proceed further so just copy the name from here and then again go to chat gpt and place the name here and ask find me some winning product idea like this for drop shipping enter so as you can see here i'm just basically narrowing down my criteria and keep asking questions from chat gpt so i can just get more and more information about some more product and then i can just save my lot of time in thinking about this product because chat gpt is already know everything about this product so you can see that chat gpt has find us some great ideas regarding this product uh, which we can basically use inside the fridge so here you can see that there are 10 ideas so if we start reading from number one it's a drawer and shelf liner silicone stretch lids fridge and freezer mats egg storage container, magnetic fridge organizer, bottle can organizer, and if you just scroll down and we, so food storage container. Okay, so I think that from this, we can just copy silicone stretch lids. So let's just copy that and paste it on Google and paste and search so here we can see that this is a product which seems eye catchy to me and i think that the audience for this product can be super broad like everyone can use this product so let's finalize this product now so now at this point our step number one has finished like we have found a product so step number two is verify that if this product is good for dropshipping or not and now in the second step we need to verify that if this product is really good for dropshipping or not so to do that we just need to type the name of the product on google and then we can just need to type shopify in front of it like select on stat lids shopify and click on enter so here we will be able to see all of those shopify store which are selling the same product on their shopify website and their website are actually ranking on google first page that's why i'm able to see this product so let's just open any shopify store from here let's just open this one and open their website and check out some other from here uh, if we can just check out this one this one Okay, so here we can see that this is a Shopify store and here it is selling the same product for $18. So now let's just check out the second website which we found for this product. And here we can see that on this website, the same product is selling and it's actually a Shopify store. And if we go down, we can see they are having some other products as well. And here are some five star reviews. There's a proper product description for this. So if we want to know like if this product is really selling on this store or not. So for that, we can just use a free Chrome extension called SimilarWeb. So if we just open that and click on more insights, then we will be 
able to see the insights of this website of this store like how much traffic this website is getting so in that way we will be able to know like if this product is selling or not so here we can see that this website is getting 5k visitors like the traffic is uh, not too good not too bad but it's getting visitor because it's checking on first page of google and if you go further down so we can see that similar web is showing that this website is ranked and it's actually getting traffic like the rank number is not too much good because it's a subcategory store but for this kind of a store this number is okay so by doing that you can just repeat this process for every product you can just go on google here and here still you can see that there are many of the shopify store who are actually using the same product to sell so that means it's a good product to sell on shopify dropship so if you also want to use chat gpt with the same method to find winning product for your shopify dropshipping store you can just repeat this process again and again for different categories and different product until you find the winner product and then when you find the winner product you can just make a list of those products and then you can just list all of your product on your shopify store and then keep testing those products one by one and if you also want to learn like how you can actually use chat gpt to market that product like how you can just create a super cool attractive and eye catching creative for this product like what will be the script of that video ad which you can use on facebook ads or tiktok ads so you can watch my other video in which i have explained you in detail like how you can create a super cool attractive creative for your shopify dropshipping ad with the help of chat gpt so that's it for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it so if you find my content really informative and helpful for you then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well so you can watch more and more videos like this in future let's meet in the next video till then take care bye